everyone, welcome back to Passionate About Tech. I'm excited to bring you another tutorial today. In this video, covering how to get started with Canva Perfect, if you want to create stunning graphics, presentations, or social media posts without needing design skills. We'll go step by step through everything you need to know to use Canva like a pro in 2025, whether you're a beginner or just exploring new tools. I'll share some tips to avoid common pitfalls and help you unleash your creativity. Let's design like a pro stick with me and let's get started. First things first, you need a Canva account. Head over to canva.com, it's free to sign up and I'll drop a link in the description to make it easy for you. Once you're signed up and logged in, you'll land on the Canva homepage. Don't let all the options overwhelm you, this is your creative hub. You'll see a search bar at the top, some quick start icons for things like presentations or Instagram posts, and a section for your recent designs. If you're brand new, that recent designs area will be empty, but don't worry, it'll fill up fast once you start creating. For now, let's focus on starting your very first project. To kick things off, look at the top left corner and click the Create a Design button. This is your gateway to Canva's magic. A drop-down menu pops up with tons of preset size everything from YouTube thumbnails to business cards. Let's say you want to make a social media post for Instagram. Type Instagram posts into the search bar here and select Instagram post square, that's 1080 by 1080 pixels, perfect for your feed. Click it and boom, you're in the Canva editor with a blank canvas ready to go. But hold up if you don't see the exact size you need. Hit custom size at the bottom of the drop down. You can enter any dimensions you want, like 1200 by 800 pixels for a custom blog graphic. For now, let's stick with that Instagram post and build something awesome. All right, welcome to the editor. This is where the fun happens. On the left, you've got a toolbar with tabs like Elements, Text, Uploads, and more. We'll explore those soon. Your canvas is in the center, and up top there's a toolbar that changes depending on what you're editing. At the bottom, you can zoom in or out with this little slider super handy for detail work. If you ever feel lost, just hover over stuff Canva's got tool tips to guide you. Now. Let's make this Instagram post pop. Starting from scratch can feel daunting, so let's use one of Canva's best features templates. On the left, click the Design tab. You'll see a search bar at the top and a list of suggested templates below. Let's search for something like Tech Vibes and hit Enter. Now, scroll through the templates that pop up. See this one called Gaming Vibes with a neon lit background and two people using VR headsets? And if you like it, click it. Now it's on your canvas and you can tweak it to make it yours. Templates like this are a beginner's secret weapon that give you a head start and spark ideas. Oh, and quick tip, if you see a crown icon, that's a Canva Pro feature. The free version still has tons of options though. Let's personalize this. Click the text that says Gaming Vibes. Type something like Tech Tips. See how the top toolbar lights up? You can change the font tree something bold like Montserrat Adjust the Size or Pick a New Color. Click the color box and choose a vibrant orange to match your tech vibe. Now, click that image in the template. Drag the corners to resize it or hit the trash can to delete it if you want something else. Moving stuff is easy, just click and drag, and watch for those purple alignment lines. They snap things into place so your design looks polished. Want to add more pages? At the bottom, click Add Page Great for multi-slide projects like presentations. Time to spice things up. Click the Elements tab on the left. You've got shapes, icons, photo sievery thing you need. Let's add a circle. Search circle, click one, and it's on your canvas. 
change its color to a cool teal by clicking the color box up top. Drag it behind your text right click. Select Send to Back from the Layers menu. Need a photo? Search Tech Gadgets, pick one, and drag it in. Resize it by pulling the corners, and if it's a pro image with a crown, just swap it for a free one. Elements are like Lego brick stack them however you like. Text can make or break a design, so let's master it. Click the Text tab on the left. You can add a heading, subheading, or body texter. Try a pre styled combo down below. Click Add a Heading. Type Stay Ahead with Tech and hit Enter. Up top, switch the font to Roboto, bump the size to 40, and make it white for contrast. Want it fancy? Click Effect Streak Curve to bend the text. Play around Canva's text tools are super forgiving. Oh, and if you've got Canva Pro, the MagicWrite AI can generate text for you. Just describe what you want. Step 8. Uploading your own content. Drag a photo from your desktop like a screenshot of your latest tech project right onto the canvas. It'll upload and appear instantly. Resize it, move it, whatever you need. You can also upload logos or videos this way. Let's say you've got a passion about tech logo, drop it in, to position it in the corner, and you've just branded your design. Easy, right? Step 9. Here's a cool trick frames. In the Elements tab, search Frames. Pick a star-shaped one, drag it onto your canvas, then grab a photo from your uploads or the photo library and drop it into the frame. It'll snap into that star shape perfect for a quirky tech post. Grids are similar search. Grids, add one, and fill each section with images or colors. It's like Instagram stories on steroids. Play with these, they're a game changer for creative layouts. Neatness counts. As you drag elements, watch for purple lines. They align stuff perfectly. Want two icons side by side? Drag one until a dotted line connects them. For layering, click an element, then use the position button up top. Bring to front puts it on top. Send to back hides it behind others. You can also select multiple item shoulder shift. Click both, then hit group to move them as one. Step 11. Exploring apps and A tools. Canva's got some next level features under apps. Search QR code. Paste a link to your YouTube channel and generate one edit to your design for an interactive touch. Step 12. Done designing? Click Share up top. Hit Download and pick your file type PNG for transparency, JPG for quick sharing, or PDF for print. For Instagram, PNG at 1080 by 1080 works great. If it's multi page, select which pages to save. Want to collaborate? Generate a share link for your team. Or if you're selling templates, use Template link buyers get a copy without touching your original. Name your file something like Tech Post so you can find it later, then hit download. Done. Before we wrap up, a few pro tips. Stick to free stuff at first ends of templates and elements don't have that crown icon. Use shortcuts like T for text or R for rectangles to speed things up check the help menu for more. And if you love Canva, consider Pro for extras like resizing or premium assets. I've got a 30-day trial link below if you want to test it out. Experiment, explore, and make mistakes. That's how you'll master it. And there you have it, a complete Canva crash course. You're now ready to create anything from social posts to presentations with confidence. What's your first project going to be? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. If this helped you, smash that like button, subscribe to Oh Passionate About Tech, and ring the bell for more tutorials. Check the description for links to Canva and extra resources. Thanks for watching. Tech fam, stay passionate, and I'll see you in the next one.